Hi, my name is Laura. I live in San Antonio, Texas, and I'm a uh, I'm a registered Republican. I did vote for Trump in 2016, regrettably, um, but afterwards, my husband and I both had a very sick feeling, and uh, we realized we made a big mistake. Mistake, you know. But we also both felt very trapped into voting the Republican Party because that's what we've always done, especially on the pro-life subject. So that leads me to um, what I wanted to talk about that, you know, I have learned so much after these past over these past four years and even especially over the past seven months since we've all been, you know, locked down Um even though I work very close with the public, I'm a hairstylist. So I've really been having to look the news and watch the news for information to get updates. And so that's why I've learned so much. Um, so what I wanted to talk about too, I wanted to touch on the pro-life uh, subject. First of all, um, Donald Trump did not change anything on the, he did not uh, sign a law in to, to for late term partial birth abortion. I know a lot of Christians believe that, but if you look at it, that already existed in 2003 when, uh, Bush, um, signed that or they, it, when he was in office that got passed legislation. And the thing is, is that presidents can't, you know, change that. They can't alone like, um, overthrow Roe versus Wade. Um, so the other um, uh, false information that I was under that I didn't know about is that the Democratic Party uh, is always all the whole party is is pro abortion, which is not true. There's actually a Democratic um, Democrats for Life of, in America a group pro life group, and not only that, but Biden. When I, I looked it up, he actually is very moderate, um, middle of the road. He personally his personal faith he is pro-life and he also um voted very strongly i think over 50 times is what it says to uh against the federal uses use of funds towards abortion and it's called the hyde law um h-y-d-e you can look that up so if you're a republican who is having a um a conflict of conscience conscience um on the pro-life issues, just know that it's not so black and white like President Trump and other presidents in the past have um, painted it. Um, that's one thing I've, I've learned recently. The Epstein Island sexual child sexual human trafficking abuse. Um, you know, he did not condemn that. Uh, I had, didn't hear any condemning or any... Um, you know, offer any condolences to the women that were abused and think about that. Think about all the things he said, all the twittering, all of that. You know, you can't just vote tradition of the republic when, you know, God calls us to examine a person's fruit of their tree or, or you know, examine a person's fruit, their actions, their lives. Um, so I will be voting Biden for the first time. I'll be voting Democrat um, ever in my life. And I have a piece about it and I have a clarity and I hope that we can get this man, this narcissistic malignant narcissist out of office um, before he destroys any more people. Um, thanks for watching.